Alright, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, Kao Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekaha Kodash. Double honor, as always, to the apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yahshua Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Respect, citations to the brothers pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of this world. Risking their life for Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai sake. Adawan Ratza, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And yeah, man, you know, we are in the end times, man. We're speaking loud and clear. Alright? Okay? You're seeing the signs of the times taking place, you know, upon you people. Okay? You inhabitants of the earth. Alright? Seeing signs in the. In the uh, heavens, the celestial bodies, okay, we've seen great, <clears throat> you know, earthquakes and tempests, all right, volcanic eruptions, all right, mass death is being poured out, and it's all done through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, to judge the world and the wickedness that's taken root therein, okay. So um, this is from endtimeheadlines.org, and the headline reads. Powerful 7.0 magnitude earthquake strikes Papua New Guinea, April 2nd, 2023. And it reads, a powerful earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.0 has struck Papua New Guinea. Seismologists say, there is no threat of a tsunami, but details about damage or casualties are not yet available. And you know, there's nothing that can be done to prevent this, man. Okay, the most you can do is prepare. Alright. That's why... It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, right? Because nothing and no one can deliver you out from that. So it says a powerful earthquake. Sorry, I read that part. <laughs> According to BNO Zero News, or BNO News, the earthquake which struck at three or four minutes past three in the morning, all right? So that's going to take people by unawares, all right? Local time on Monday was centered in Chambri Lake, about 37 kilometers east of Ambunti. Or 96 kilometers southwest of Wewok, the capital of East Sepik province. The US Geological Survey said the earthquake measured 7.0, a significant downgrade from earlier estimates of 7.3 and 7.9. It struck about 62 kilometers below the surface, making it a fairly deep earthquake. Based on all available data, a destructive Pacific wide tsunami is not expected. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said in a statement details about damage or casualties from the remote region were not immediately available the usgs estimated that up to four and a half million people could have felt the quake including four four hundred and sixty six thousand people who may have felt strong to very strong shaking okay earthquakes in the mountainous nation which is on the pacific rising oh sorry the pacific ring of fire do rarely cause major damage because many structures in the region are light and flexible that's right and um Certain nations or countries or islands that are prone to earthquakes will they'll have certain infrastructures where okay a lot of the uh, the buildings and the materials that are used for that will kind of absorb and you know um, yeah basically absorb uh, damage that's done to to the uh, you know to uh, the infrastructure okay there's no point in them investing more and more money into you know certain uh, infrastructures that's just easily going to be you know wiped away they may as well invest in something that's quicker to build lighter all right so when it does come all right and they rebuild again then it doesn't take as much time it doesn't take as much investment okay so it says this allows them to bend rather than snap ah right so when a major earthquake occurs however earthquakes in papua new guinea are capable of causing major landslides right so there you go light and flexible and it, it makes sense okay i remember doing that back in geography but <laughs> forgot a lot of that so we'll get a few precepts don't need to make this long because there's any precepts that could be you know gone into or you can go into all right just bear with at the moment okay you know it's the lord who wounds and who kills who bring us up to the grave and bring us down okay a lot of people are going to lose homes all right People who are once rich, they're going to feel it. And it's it's an easy thing for the law to make someone rich and to make someone poor. 
So this is Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of divine fire. Right, and that's true, that's what we see, that's plain, plain as day. Okay. And the Lord is doing all this. Alright. You know, Esau Edom, the so called white man, the devil likes to to say everything is global warming, climate change. Alright, because he, he's prideful and he thinks he, you know, he runs everything. Okay. Now, say, now Satan, you know, does have, you know, power of the prince of the air. Alright, but that power is given on high, you know, from the most high. Okay. And a lot of these meteorologists, you know, these weather forecasts, alright, you know, they, they think they, they know it all. Okay. Let's get a. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7, okay, you know, this is a, a warning, you know, to our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, as well as the Israelite foreigners, speckled birds, who are the chosen and true biblical Hebrew Israelites, you know, seek your power now, alright, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, okay, now, fearing the Lord, does it mean that you go hide under a table, okay, Hide in your wardrobe. No, it means, okay, you obey and keep his commandments. All right, you love the Lord with all thine heart and understanding. Okay, you do what is required. You grow your beard, like it says in the scriptures. Okay, don't eat pork, don't eat shrimp. Okay, but the majority of our people don't move in that manner. Okay, so they are very susceptible to judgment. Okay, and the Lord is righteous in deal in, in giving and administering judgment however he sees fit. Okay. This is a precept to back that up in the book of Sirach chapter one and verse fourteen which reads To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Okay, and faith is the gift. Alright, you can't go buy faith online or go into a shop and buy faith okay this is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai alright and it was created with the faithful in the womb okay let's get one more and uh, we close out alright and if you have faith okay you'd seek the Lord <coughs> let's get one last one because there's many more scriptures that we can go into, but I won't make this long at all. Uh, this is the book of Haggai. Chapter 2, verse 6. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea, and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill the house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Okay, and that's what he's doing, man. Okay. That's why non-stop earthquakes, non-stop tsunamis, non-stop tornadoes, okay, ravaging the earth. You can't even keep up. Just Google earthquake. Alright? Constantly taking place. Alright? So, I don't want to rouse out this lesson with edifying. Okay? Again, double honour to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach our nation well, as they are the true teachers for our nation on earth today. And in closing, I'd like to give all praises, glory and honour to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekai Kodash. And with that, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Wa Ababa Ba'al, Shalom to the elect.